Well, good day to you. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to Daily Devotions with yours, Apostle Des. And I thank you for um, watching this video today. I, um, whenever you're watching it, I just pray that you will be greatly encouraged with the Word of God and empowered by the Holy Spirit to live the life that God has called us to live. Uh, may you be grass, uh, blessed greatly. Hallelujah. And don't forget to join us each night at midnight if you can on the Seal of My Apostolic Church Facebook page. And you'll see us live on Facebook at midnight each night. And we're doing a, a devotion on the Book of Romans there each night. We're going through the Book of Romans so you can have two daily devotions. You can have the, the one on YouTube, which this one is, uh, which we're going through the book of Acts, and the midnight devotion, where we're going through the book of Romans. So please um, subscribe as well, if, you, if you've not already done so. Um, but it's good to have you watching, and may you be blessed greatly. So... Uh, Last night we was in, uh, well, yesterday we was in Acts 4. Um, and so we're going to continue in that. Um, so we're doing Acts 4 part 2 today. Acts 4 part 2. So Father, we thank you for each person who's watching this. Father, we pray that you would speak to each of us by your Holy Spirit and encourage us with your word. And let your word take root in us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So here we are, Acts 4. Now, uh, we're starting at verse 23. Now, don't forget, Peter and John were seized and arrested by the religious leaders because of what was happening and how people were being healed and people joining the church. And and so we're continuing with that. And here we have... Uh, uh, verse 23 in Acts 4. On their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to them. When they heard this, they raised their voices together in prayer to God. Sovereign Lord, they said, you made the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything in them. You spoke by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of your servant, our father David. Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers gather together against the Lord, against his anointed one, against the Messiah. And so, see, it was already prophesied what would be happening through the mouth of David. Glory be to God. Indeed, Herod and Pontius Pilate met together with the Gentiles and the people of Israel in this city to conspire against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. They did what your power and will had decided beforehand should happen. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform miraculous signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Now, after they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Isn't that wonderful? So they left prison rejoicing. Hallelujah. They raised to get their voices together in prayer and praise, praising God. And, and they asked God to, to stretch out his hand to heal and perform miraculous signs and wonders and empower them to speak the word boldly. How many know that can be our prayer today? That can be our prayer. We can pray, Lord, enable us, your servants, to speak your word with boldness. Fill us with the boldness that comes through your Holy Spirit to speak your word with boldness. To the glory of your name. And use us, Lord, to, 
to, to see miracles, signs and wonders taking place so that people may be drawn to faith in you. And so we can pray that as well and ask God to do that through you and through me. And when he knows the same today as he was yesterday. And, and our Father loves <clears throat> to be doing that, seeing people's lives changed, transformed. He's full of compassion, isn't he? And he loves to do that today. When Jesus saw the crows, it said he was filled with compassion. Hallelujah. And verse 32, it goes on. All the believers were one in heart and mind. You know, that's the key to revival. That's the key for God moving in power. There was all one in heart and one in mind. There were one in vision, one in purpose to see God's kingdom extended. And you know, when God sees a church where the believers are one in heart and one in mind, that's where you see a blessed church. And you see God moving in power because he loves unity. What does Psalm 133 say? It says, God commands a blessing where there is unity. And so they were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of his own possessions were his own, but they shared everything they had. So the guy with the Lamborghini, he said, listen, everyone can use my Lamborghini. I don't consider my possessions my own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what it was like. No one claimed that their possessions were their own. They all shared a light. Isn't that wonderful? We need to get back to that. Glory be to God. And it says, verse 33, it says, With great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and much grace was upon them all. See, that was the key. That was the key. It said, they, they, with great power, they moved. Why? Because great grace was upon them. And when God's great grace is upon you and me, things begin to happen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God's great grace. It says, there were no needy persons among them. From time to from time to time, those who own lands or houses sold them. And they brought the money from the sales and they put it at the apostles' feet. So they were selling homes, selling fields and bringing them to the apostles and saying, look, we've sold this, we, we give it to the ministry. How awesome is that? When, when people do that, when they're led by the Spirit to sell their homes and they come and place it at your feet. Praise be to God. And they distributed the money to anyone who had need. So it worked to the by their own jet and the latest Bentley. It was there to help those in need. Hallelujah. How good is that? And it, the, verse 36, Joseph, a Levite from, Cypri, uh, from Cyprus, whom the, apostle, whom the apostle called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, he sold a field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostle's feet. See, he was known as the son of encouragement. That tells us that Barnabas was an encourager. And how many know we need encouragers in the church today? People who encourage you and build you up. Hallelujah. And he, he sold a field and he gave it to the apostles. Hallelujah. So if you feel led to sell a field and sell a home and bring it to CLMI, we will gladly accept it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So there we have Acts 4. Um, tomorrow we're going to be looking at Acts chapter 5. Uh, so tune in sometime. Usually we put these on in the morning so you can watch them uh, in the morning at some point. And then don't forget the midnight one where well, that's on at midnight. Hallelujah. But they're all short videos. They're all short 
and we try to get to the main point of each chapter. So God bless you greatly and we thank you um, for your support. Spread these videos so that others will be blessed. We bless you in Jesus' name. Yours, Apostle Des.